Let's see, do I have any other good school stories for this episode? See, that was all high school. I could get into, um... I could get into college stuff, but... That's more... Saving that for Final Fantasy VII? I guess that's more traditionally funny and not so like, wow, our institutions are failing funny. <laughs> just, just always remember the first college professor that I had insisted that we call him Spaghetti Western. <laughs> My academic life has been very interesting indeed. Speaking of interesting, not, that's yeah, what not what's happening here? in gameplay right now. Uh, so this is just the Imp's Berserk effect. I'm just stuck yeah, here I know automatically that. doing that. Uh, I'm trying to go up this hallway. I should just you miss four Muppet, buttons, you but... Know. Oh. I thought it was timed. It's not. You gotta mash. Got a monster mash. He's gonna do it again. A graveyard bash? You're gonna get berserked. Ah. We should change your name to Guts, because you're going to be Berserks. I get that reference. No, you don't. I get that it is a reference. Is that a and that's good reference? enough. Let's see how the Goddess Shield compares to the Alucard Shield. I like how your in empty hand is an inventory thing. Yeah, it's just sitting there alongside everything else he's carrying. Look at how potato-like that goddess image is. <laughs> the zoom in doesn't do it any it favors. It does either. no favors. That is the image of a goddess. It's just like, oh, I don't have this shit again. Yeah, that's really the perfect description. That is the iconography of a goddess who stayed up too late playing Minecraft. <laughs> and which of us hasn't been there, really? I have never stayed up too late playing Minecraft. What's your stayed up too late playing game? Um, Probably Xenogears. Xenogears is the only one that I can actually remember, like, being like, oh god, it's... X o'clock at night, and I need to be up at Y in the morning, and I'm still playing this game. <laughs> I have since changed my example of obviously cut content to be World of Warcraft Warlords of Draenor. <laughs> because... That's more... more people saw that than Xenogears, I think. Yeah. We've also got Phantom Pain these days, of course. See, I haven't played that. I haven't. I've been watching a Let's Play of it. I own it. We could Let's Play it. I... Uh, nah. <laughs> I mean, unless you want to do the gameplay and have me do the commentary. I mean, one of these days, we've got to do, like, a player that knows what they're doing. Why? I guess that is less entertaining. <laughs> also, you totally gave away our next one. Yeah, but I like doing that. Gets the hype up for our fan. Are we doing... Are we doing Seven, or are we doing, um, Bloodstained? Uh... Honestly, I haven't decided. I'm really leaning more towards 7 Remake just because I've been waiting forever to play that. Now, see, my thoughts on that... This entire thing is just us going to be talking like we normally do over a video game in the background, and it's going to either be our best or worst episode. I mean, that's basically what everything we've done so far is already. No, this is exceptionally like that, because we've not been talking about the game outside of, like making dumb puns. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like, my thought on 7R is that it should have been the biggest news in the gaming world for a long time. 
And then I played it a little bit and lost motivation to keep playing it. And then I never heard anything else about it. Like, I haven't heard people talking on the Twitter about how good the ending is, or how they're anticipating part two. It's very I, weird. I have, but the stuff I've been hearing, I've been trying to avoid spoilers, and mostly I've done that. Um, which I know it's weird for a remake, but... No, it's not, um, it's not weird for this one. Yeah, because I have heard about the ending, and all I know is it apparently heavily implies that this isn't actually a remake, but they're doing something else with it. Yeah, there's there's the stuff in the story that kind of hints towards that, too, which is why I'm thinking it's not super weird that you're trying to avoid spoilers on it. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I even before I knew that, I figured they would have to have been doing something more than just Final Fantasy VII again. But... Yeah, I heard that it goes a lot further in that direction than I expected. I thought they would just be, like, adding some new content and making the story a little bit more straightforward, but nah, it does seem a lot more than that. Because if there's one thing the story of Seven needed, it was to be more confusing. <laughs> I say that as somebody who totally understands think... what's going on in Seven and I'm not confused by it at all. Mm-hmm. That wasn't a doubtful. Mm -hmm. I, I completely believe oh. that. Were you looking for the boss room again? Yeah, I was trying to figure out which one it I can, was. I kind of got myself I can show you around. the next time the map is up. Uh, it's below us, isn't it? Like, if you, like, yeah, straight, down straight down from where, where I am right are. now? I don't know if you okay. can get to it yep, from this so. angle. Uh, not from this room, but I can backtrack. I'm just gonna mist back. Okay, so... Yeah, okay, I can do a good deal of backtracking to get back there. That's not too bad. It's like, I keep meaning to go back and play 7. Like, finish 7. Yeah. Part of the problem that I've had with it is that it came out at the start of the whole COVID thing. Yeah, yeah. Where playing a single-player game just feels lonely? Question mark? Hmm. I can understand that. That said, uh, I have been strongly considering dropping a bit of money to get uh, God of Boy. Mostly because <laughs> I watched the first couple episodes of an LP of it and thought it looked super good. And also, um, mm. my partner loves mythology. Oh no, yeah. I know who this is. All right. It is Beelzebub. Wait, is this a boss room that I can just walk out? Okay, no, it's sealed here. I was wondering why there's that little tunnel there. Okay, so let's check out what's going on here. There's a giant fly. There's a great-looking dead body there. Yeah, this all seems okay. Do you get why this is Beelzebub? Uh, Lord of the Flies? Yes, the Lord of the Flies. Yep. Okay, you do need to hit the corpse. Wasn't sure if that was the actual boss, or if there's a thing going on with the flies buzzing around I wasn't getting. No, I think the flies are just to make sure he has some way to hit you when you're not, you know, slamming your face yeah. into his nasty corpse. Makes sense. Oh, he's also dropping maggots. Oh yeah, he is. So, do those actually hit me? Yeah, they did. Uh, uh, yep, they did. Oh, and they they poison. Okay, that makes sense. I thought it was the flies poisoning me. 
What? I mean, they're the giant monsters in here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm saying what Alucard is saying. Oh, okay. Alucard says what? I don't know what you're doing anymore. Uh, me either. I guess I'm attacking the limbs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you just gotta knock all the limbs out. Yeah. This is a very annoying boss, actually. Uh, seems like it. Not... Not entirely sure the expected way to get the arm. I guess just double jump up? These infinitely oh, God. flies aren't helping, though. What if this is where you need the high jump? That you never figured out how to get, how to do? Oh, thankfully, no. I can double jump to it. And that resistance potion the fairy used on me is actually helping a good deal against this. Down to only one damage per hit from them now. Until it wears off. Then you might be in trouble. Yeah, but I think I've got a bunch of them, so I could always manually use some. Alright, there's the hand gone on the right. Is it another big chunk out? Um, yeah, see, now I don't know what you need to do. Is... Yeah. Ah, this is annoying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I saw that there are two strategies that work well against this guy, and you don't have access to either of them. Yeah, I kind of figured. That's frustrating. I'll see if I can switch sub-weapons before I get to him again. Do you know which one you need? Axe is what I was thinking, maybe? It's Axe, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then you immediately use an axe. Yep, that was one of those accidental times I was talking about. Oh, well. Accidental? Ah? Uh -huh. Eh? 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 See, now I have to leave that end part in here. So, welcome back, everyone. I accidentally said something funny. It wasn't funny. It was something close to funny. It had some similarities to humor. Okay, yeah, this is... Way easier? Actually, it is, but I think I'm also gonna... Oh no, it actually does do more damage. Never mind. I was gonna say I might want to save it for the upper parts that I was having so much trouble with before, but... Oh no, they're doing their impenetrable ring! Honestly, this boss is just kind of... annoying. A little bit. Like, it's it's the kind of difficulty where it's not even really gameplay difficulty, it's just do the annoying thing difficulty. Yeah, I'm not sure you needed to even kill his lower extremities. Oh. I wonder what they're even there for. It's not like they were attacking or anything. I guess just for coolness, which I can't object to too much. There we go. No, I think you just go and murder the, murder the rest of his head. Or, no, that did it. Okay. Yeah. 